What is happening and welcome to another Photography Talk episode. And friends, today we're gonna to be talking about this little guy right here, the GoPro Hero 11. Now, I've had this thing for about five months or so, so it is time that I do a long-term review. And that, my friend, is today's task. Now, if you've used the Hero 11, you know it's the most capable, feature-rich camera that GoPro has ever produced. And yeah, well, you know, I'd like to think so. It's their newest one, but it legitimately has a lot of really cool bells and whistles. And even if you haven't used the Hero 11, you've undoubtedly heard people like me singing praises about this thing. I just realize I'm just whipping this thing all around. But anyways, so in today's video, we're gonna take a deep dive into the Hero 11, and we're gonna discuss some of the specs, features, pros and cons, and I'm gonna share with you how I specifically use these cameras to create content. But first, before we go diving into all this goodness, uh, look, videos like this we put together to help you make more informed decisions and form, well, to determine whether something like this deserves to be in your camera bag. Now, of course, if you find some value with this video, friends, you'd be doing us a huge favor by crushing the hell out of that like button down below. We really do appreciate it. That said, hey, you know, is that time? Pull up a seat and, uh, yeah, come on. Let's go. If you've been following this channel for a little while, you may know I've in previous videos where I'm talking about GoPros, I've spoken about how I've been using these cameras for absolutely years. This is going way back into my automotive days with the, the Corvettes and so forth. These cameras offer so much flexibility and functionality for someone like me that shoots in the studio and well, with, when it comes to these, I'm mainly shooting out in the field. And since I'm typically a solo shooter, having a small, highly capable camera like the Hero 11 makes it so much easier to get primary footage in B-roll. I can, man, I can mount this thing on my truck's dashboard. I can use a hand grip as you're seeing right here. I can use a suction cup, and put it on the side of my truck or my trailer, or I can use something like this. You guys have seen this before. This is my hands down. Uh, my favorite accessory, this is an Octopad. It's a little donut filled little stand. I use that thing a lot. But anyways, more, uh, actually I cut myself off because we have a video coming up in a handful of weeks where I'm breaking down my top accessories for GoPro for 2023. I can promise you there's some new ones and we've got rid of some old ones. So you know, stay tuned for that. But the big question here is how has the Hero 11 uh, basically stood up and performed over the last handful of months. And that, my friends, is what we're going to be specifically covering here. But first, let's dive into some of the features or some of the specs with this uh, with this Hero 11. Now, first off, one of the things that really stand out for me here is you have a new, larger, 1 over 1.9, uh, 27 megapixel CMOS sensor, which I can tell you offers 64 more times color capturing capabilities over the Hero 10. And you really notice this stuff here. Uh, you have 5.3K video at 60p plus 2.7K at 240p, 8-bit or 10-bit uh, uh, color video capture and 27 megapixels still images. So they kind of bump things up a bit there. Now you do have front and rear LCD screens, which is nice when you're a solo shooter like me. So you can actually see yourself frame things up as you're moving along. Now you do have, this is one of the things that I absolutely love about this here. Okay, you have the 360 degree horizon lock. Now what that means is, this is going to keep, regardless of what you're doing, it's gonna keep that horizon level in frame, as we can see here, even when the camera is not level. That is pretty stinking cool. Then you have the HyperSmooth 5.0 image stabilization, which allows the Hero 11 Black to automatically determine how much stabilization this thing needs based on your speed and movement. And this is another one of those features that I really resonate with because sometimes you're moving, you're, you have a lot of stuff move, a lot of stuff on your mind. And so this thing is going to determine you know, basically, what is the bare minimum that you need to keep this in, in where it's not bouncing all over the place, which is really, really nice. Now you do have Hyperview uh, digital lens, which converts the native 8-7 aspect ratio of your sensor into a wide angle 16-9 view. Now this thing is waterproof up to 33 feet. Now, 
I do want to point out that is without the housing. Don't go into the water with this housing. It's funny because I've heard horror stories about people doing that. And the the the, uh, the media mod housing is not waterproof. Now the water repellent lens on the front of this thing is going to ensure that you have a clear view, even if you are in water. Plus it eliminates lens flare, which is a kind of an added bonus. Now you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which also provide enhanced connectivity along with your GoPro's quick app, which allows you to publish videos to platforms like Instagram and TikTok if you are into those things. Now you also do have night effect modes that allow you to get really creative. So uh, capturing star trails, uh, light paintings, uh, light trails with vehicle lights and so forth. So a little fun that you can do. Now one of the things I absolutely love with these new, uh, let's see if I have one in here. Okay. It comes with a 1720 milliamp Enduro battery. Now friends, I will say this, compared to the old school ones, this one right here, you're gonna get, I think it's about 40% more life or more runtime with your GoPro. And these actually perform a lot better in the colder weather. Now you do spend a little bit more, but believe me, it is well worth the coin. I started converting, uh, getting rid of, well, I didn't get rid of, I still keep these in case of emergency break glass, but I started picking up a lot more of these uh, last year, so they are definitely a rock star. Now, other features worth mentioning are voice control, raw photo capture, built-in live stream capabilities, and the ability to add all sorts of features with GoPro's mod system, like the Max Mod, the Media Mod, which you're usually always gonna see me using and so forth. The Media Mod absolutely kicks ass. Now this time I did go with the Creative Edition, so it comes with the Light Mod right here. You also have the Media Mod, which as I mentioned a moment ago, you'll always see me using the Media Mod. I think that is probably one of GoPro's best features. And then of course you have the Volta Hand Grip, which works with the GoPro battery to give you extended recording times. And also on the back side of it, it does have some uh, switches here so you can actually control the camera as you are in use. Now, one thing I do want to point about the Creative Kit before I dive into the pros and cons is the case that this thing comes with. This thing, okay, let me grab one of the old ones. So here's one of the old ones and honestly, I never used it because it's so small. I can never, if I want a case I'm carrying, because I always have more than just a, a single GoPro that I'm carrying with me. This case with the, the Creative Edition here uh, is absolutely fantastic because I can tell you, look at, so when I'm heading out, I will usually have, now, I can't fit this all in there right now, but I'll break this down. I have this GoPro in there with the battery grip. I have another GoPro, I have another GoPro. I have one of these clampy deals here. I have another media mod. I have a road kit, spare memory card, another hand grip, and a bunch of batteries here. All of that is fitting into this case here. So these prior cases, the smaller cases, you know, they're nice. Uh, I personally don't find much use for them. This big case right here, legitimately, I use this religiously with my GoPros since picking this thing up. So. Now, as you probably tell by the long list of features I just outlined, there's a lot to love about the GoPro Hero 11 Black. However, friends, it's not perfect to camera by any means. Now, here's what I like most about this camera. First off, as I mentioned a moment ago, this thing is crazy simple to use. Honestly, this couldn't be easier to operate for video and stills. Then you have the extraordinary portability of this thing. Obviously with a camera this size right here, it, in the weight of this thing, it's tough not to bring this with you and have this with you all the time. I have it with me in all my adventures. The new sensor offers improved performance and capabilities and stills and videos have incredible color, detail and sharpness. This thing, you really, when you compare a the Hero 10 images and the Hero 11, there is a noticeable difference here. They really, they bumped it up here. Now the next one I'm gonna bring up here, this is a big one. You know, if you have invested into an ecosystem of a, of a camera and then they come out with a new model and so forth, there's nothing worse than having parts of the old one not fit onto the new one. And we've seen that a handful of times with prior models of GoPro. So if you have a, a nine or a 10, a lot of your accessories from those are going to fit on this seamlessly. Then you have the new Hyperview feature, which is nice for switching up the aspect ratio. And then closing things off, HyperSmooth 5.0 is absolutely Absolutely bonkers. I know it's so cliche to say it's the best stabilization that they've come out with. Yeah, it is, but it's, it, you know, it's funny. Every every year when GoPro comes out with a new camera, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, oh, they can't possibly make it any better. 
well, hyper smooth 5.0 definitely raises it up a notch. And again, if you're out there and you're filming yourself and every bit of stabilization really counts and it's nice to have that stability. And where I like this, as you'll find out here in a moment, how I use this, uh, often cases you'll see one of these cameras mounted in my dash of my truck. And often cases I'm going on some pretty rocky areas and having this thing keeping me stable, man, when the truck is bouncing all over the place, that is a big plus. Okay, now that I got you all buttered up with all the good stuff, let me uh, look at the other side of the fence here and address the cons that I have with this camera. In typical GoPro fashion, this thing every so often is going to overheat and it does shut off. It doesn't happen much, but it has happened to me a few times. Now, the next con here, as I was sitting down with my editorial team and deciding, okay, how we were going to frame this up, uh, one of the editors brought up that it was not cheap or it isn't cheap. And I, this one, you know, I'm, I'm saying it here, but it's not one that I agree with. Because, you know, for example, the Creative Edition here is at 600 bucks. The camera by itself is 429 Personally, for me, when I look at the amount of value that this camera provides, knowing that a lot of the footage that I get, I would not be able to get with a camera like this, uh, without having a camera like this. So for me, the value, even with the $600 with the Creative Edition, that the value transcends far beyond that. Uh, so I'll let it be kind of your discretion. If you're more price sensitive, $600, yeah, it could be a con. And they, again, $600 is based upon the Creative Edition that I just shared with you. And the Creative Edition, just to clarify, you have the case, you have the light, you have the media mod, you have the Volta hand grip, and of course the camera itself. And the uh, Enduro battery there. So, your call. Now, aside from that, though, there really isn't much for me to complain about the Hero 11 Black. Now, one of the common questions that does come up, how do I use my GoPros and so forth? And so, seeing that we're talking about the 11, I'm going to share with you how specifically some of the top scenarios or cases how I use this camera. One of the most obvious uh, I brought to you or I shared with you a moment ago, I have, some, I have a thorn on the bottom of here, um, this Octopad, this base right here, I absolutely... You'll see this in quite a bit of my videos. This thing extends up. Um, this is any telescopic, and I got these little mounts here. That what I'll do is I'll mount the GoPro on top of there. When I'm in the studio, I very rarely, I don't even remember the last time that I used a GoPro in the studio. And so, but when I'm out in the field, the R5 is my primary carry. My R6 very rarely leaves my studio. And out in the field, my GoPros become all my secondary cameras. So I have a little army of all these I'm able to get from different angles. So when I'm interviewing somebody out in the field, I'll have this set up off to the side. And I like it because having that additional camera gives you just a little bit more production value for you guys watching these videos and just makes the video a little bit more dynamic. And so especially with the 11, the colors on here are absolutely fantastic. Now then there are cases, as I shared a moment ago, uh, where you'll see me talking in, the, in my truck as I'm driving. Uh, there's a mount on my dash and I will put the GoPro with the media mod, uh, again, because I like that audio rate directly out of there. I'll mount that right on the dash and boom, it works out fantastic. There are times, so if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of cases I can almost guarantee if you if you follow my other channel, the four wheel drive talk uh, channel, or some of the outdoor videos for photography talk, every one of them has some sort of GoPro footage in there. But uh, another one of my favorite tools or how I will use my GoPros uh, is, again, we're talking about different vantage points that add production value and basically spice up the videos and so forth. I will use suction cup. I will mount it to the side of my vehicle or wherever I need to. That's a, that's a favorite. I have clamps like these things. This is a Ulanzi. This is actually a newer one that I just picked up. So I'll mount this on a frame or on a tree branch or someplace where I can't get something like my Octopad very easily. Uh, and that just allows me just additional angles that I'm able to get. Um, and so those are, and then last but not least, uh, you know, there are times where I just want to be a little bit more fluid with you guys on, on, on camera. And so I will be talking directly, doing one of these things here, which is 
quite typical for content creators. And with the stabilization that this thing has, with the Volta grip and so forth, because you get like a ton of extra time utilizing this thing, assuming you have a full charge there. So this is the final, probably the most obvious way where you'll see me uh, creating the videos. You might have noticed where I'll have that, what is happening? And so kind of pull it away and it gets that kind of cool effect in the beginning of the videos. But at any rate, those are just a handful. But I will say this, the I teased about it early on this video. So in the next handful of weeks, we're going to have a video coming out with where I'm going to break down all the accessories that I use. So you'll definitely want to stay tuned for that. Now wrapping things up, this is a camera that I can throw my camera bag and use pretty much anywhere and not worrying whether this thing is going to perform or not. It's simply easy to use, absolutely packed full of features that really matter. And many improvements over the Hero 10 Black make this a really nice upgrade. This is by far it is by far the most frequently used tool uh, that I have in my camera bag. It completely changes the way that I capture footage. And so anyways, it's a game changer for me or not really a game changer because I've been using them for so long. But again, I would not be able to get a lot of the footage that I do without something like this. So GoPro has been really doing a good job of perfecting the Hero camera over the years and years. And it shows. So if you're on the fence about getting a action camera, all I can say is it doesn't get better. And I know that sounds so cliche to say than the Hero 11 Black, or at least until the 12 comes out, that is. So anyways, I'll put links down below if you want to get more details on the Hero 11. With that out of the way, let's conclude today's video with a chat about our current giveaway. We have three excellent prizes for the grab this month. We have a Holdfast Gear Remographer bag. We have a Vanguard VO3 Go tripod. And of course, the $100 Amazon gift card. Now, as always, friends, we make it super easy for you to participate. Step one, well, you gotta like this video and you need to subscribe to the channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So by all means, get watching some of the videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to register on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win, but as I keep saying over and over again swinging by say hello we would love to see you and that is it for now for complete details on the giveaway including how to register in photography talk or how to say hello in the forum check out the uh description below and one last thing before i go jumping off here if you enjoy this sort of content be sure to head over to photography talk sign up for an account friend it's free to do so and it's going to give you access to literally thousands of photography related articles on the site including articles about news on camera gear photography tutorials and much, much more. So take a moment, sign up for an account and get access to material that will help you take your best shot. And friends, that is it. Now it's that time of the video. Before I go jumping off here, I'm going to thank you for, look, there's a ton of videos out there that could be grabbing your attention right now. I know that's a big surprise, right? Not really, but the point is that I really do appreciate you taking time out of your schedule and some of the other options that you could be watching right now and in investing into our channel because it really does help things and we really do have in you here. That said, you know, please consider doing all the YouTube stuff, the like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so therefore every single time that we come out with a video, just like, for example, the one coming up on the new uh, accessories for, or I'm sorry, the accessories that I most use for my GoPro pro or any other videos for that matter youtube is going to notify you but friends again thank you very much but that is all i have here for you today so with that said i'm going to be shutting off these cameras you get out there stay healthy and take your best shot